Wow. Is it a fact? Wow. Is it a liar? Turn it over. Who was the, who was the founder of Planned Parenthood? Huh? Marcus. Who was the founder of Planned really Parenthood? I Margaret Sanger. Okay. Okay, and you so know what, Margaret what, Sanger what, was Trump idols of Hillary Clinton. Trump. 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 I ain't vote for none of them devils, man. All right, because right, they vote for the devils. That's right. They vote for the devils. That's right. They say they say vote for the the better peoples, right? We are making a stand. You're not, you're not That's why we stand and bold as a lie. That's right. right. That's why you don't walk up the street twice. You have no answers. <laughs> you hurt. Where are your scriptures at, boy? Where are your scriptures at, man? For God to love the world. For God to love the world. What's the word world mean in the Greek? What's that word in the Greek? I don't know Greek. I don't know Greek. It's the word cosmos, which means the ordered arrangement. Okay? It doesn't uh, mean it doesn't like, mean the whole inhabited world. This is like fucking argument okay? with the ground. Yeah, because yeah, we have like, uh, Why is going on? Why is it out? Why are you so dumb? Because we stand firm. Uh, we stand firm, baby. Uh, we're so dumb. You are part of it here, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody get Jeremiah 1 and 18. Yeah. Yeah. You said it's like arguing on the ground, right? It's like arguing like the ground, right? Hey, listen to this, Esau. Come back. Yeah, Esau. 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 I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, with Kakra Dash, a double honor to the apostles and the others that rule well, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's kicking his word in sincerity, also in truth. As you can see, the younger brothers with that was out here today, Um, this, this is today, and they had a uh, Edomite come out and flash a gun, I know, at him, you know, which, which is uh, perfect, it's beautiful because this is, it lines up with, uh, with the uh, prophecy, you know, we know that this so-called white man knows that he knows he knows that he has but a short time, man, and so he's gonna get cornered. He's gonna use that that uh, uh lesson that he was given by Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. But his elect are gonna be uh, uh uh protected in that day, man. You see, so he the, the so-called white man he can get mad, you know, he might get some of us. But guess what, man? You know, the Most High has his elect preserved, man, for for. For salvation, there's nothing that you Edomites could do anything about it, man. You see, so when you brothers see things like this, we should be encouraged by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. That, that 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 we have example of these young brothers here. You see, standing stiff before the word of the Heavenly Father, man. You see, so let's get a couple precepts. Yeah, this is uh, Acts five and forty, and to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahusha and let them go. If you read up, this uh, that that hymn is talking about Gamaliel, and he basically uh, broke it down uh, to the uh, the wicked Pharisees that if these apostles, the apostles of the Most High, they cannot, they they can't beat them. You know, they, there's nothing they could do. They can't fight against the will of the Heavenly Father. So. If the Pharisees let them go, let the apostles go, where they beat them, and then send them on their way. You see, and the and, and, and to verse forty, and to him they agreed, and they and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahusha, and let them go, and they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. So here you are, you had the apostles rejoicing that they were willing to suffer for the will of the Yahweh and Yahushua. You see, and these these brothers here in their video, man, they exemplified that, and we gotta exemplify that. You have to be, you have to glory and take, you know, this persecution that we are about to endure cheerfully, you know, for the name of Yahweh Shah. You see, and also you have to know that the Most High has us, man. He got us. You see. He's protecting his. He's protecting his man. He's not gonna have us out there and leave us out to dry, man. You see, although the odds seem against us, he got us. But you have to believe. You see, let's go to the next script. Psalms thirty-four and seven. The angel of Yahweh encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. That's right. So, you know, when we out there on the highways and byways, man, the Most High is gonna protect us. You see. As long as we stay in the spirit, brothers, it's very important that we're staying in the spirit, you know, so so that 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 Moha, the Most High shines and not ourselves, you see, you know, because these people are gonna come with it, you know, the Edomites have, have you know, for the last 
three weeks, they've been coming out and being very confrontational. You know, down, you know, we're in Texas, so, you know, they had just about enough of us, you know. And that was a, a power move right there, whether, you know, it, whether just the, the spirit of Satan jumped on him or, you know, they sent him out, you know, to be an agent to scare, you know, which is both are plausible. You see, we know that the will of the Heavenly Father is being uh, issued out, man. The left hand power, man, is gearing up for a last push. You see? But the, again, the most I got us, man. You see? The most I got us. Let's go to Nick first. Isaiah 45 and 7, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the inheritance of the servants of, of Yahweh. Right, you know, and their righteousness is with me, says Yahweh. That's right. So you, you had the Edomite. He was getting upset because he wasn't able to gain say the brothers. And so what did he do? He pulled out a gun. You see? He pulled out a gun, but the most I had it to where he walked down, you know, put the spirit on him to to, to, to flash the gun and walk away, you see, because ultimately the most high, you know, got things under control, man. He could have put, the most I could allow the, uh, the spirit of vengeance to jump on the Edomite, you know what I'm saying, and, and kill the brothers, man, you see. But the most high, again, he has us, man, you know, call out your how about you have a shot, you see. And uh, I'm going to say yapper job to you brothers, man. You know, TJ Kemp, you brothers did a wonderful job, man. You see? Um, man, you better stay tuned, stay strapped up. You know, it's, it's going to get bumpy. Fight to stay in the spirit. You know, that's something that I'm dealing with. Hey, you got to fight to stay in the spirit. It's a fight. We are in a spiritual battle. You see? And it's very important that we understand that, you know, that lazy demon jumping on you. Jump on you, jump on me too. I'm really speaking to myself. We gotta shake the cobwebs off, man, and understand that uh, you know, prophecy is happening before our eyes, brother. You know, so it's time for us to, for well, it's bedtime. We, you know, we got to continue to hold fast to our profession, man. You know, hold fast, man. You see, don't get worried, brothers. And you know, keep fighting. You know, it's it's hard. It's getting hard out here. You know, Satan is. He's doing his thing, man. But we got to do our thing, too, man. If we want to be, if we want to receive that crown, man. You know, I'm praying for y'all. I'm pray, pray for us also. Uh, all praises to Yahweh by sin, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well. Shalom.